We're here at the Milton Cato Memorial Hospital where a St. James medical student, Zavel here, has once again received donation to benefit the hospital. We all have also with us Mr. Andrew Williams and he's a deputy hospital administrator. This morning, Zavel is going to tell us a little bit about how she acquired these items and a little bit about the background about that. Okay, so the company goes by the name of Stethahope. It was founded on October 10th, 2016 by a young gentleman that goes by the name of Kenneth Jackson. So what inspired him to start the company was the unfortunate passing of his grandfather in Jamaica at the Spanish Town Hospital. Now his grandfather passed away not because his ailment was untreatable, but because of a lack of resources. So this for him was known as a hopeless situation. Um, so what he wanted to do was offer hope to other people that would be in his situation in the future. So he embarked on starting this company and what the company Stethahope promises to do is that with the purchase of every stethoscope, one would be donated to a country in need. So they've already done donations to Guatemala, Vietnam, Cuba, and Jamaica. So what I did was um, contact him and I spoke with him about the perspective of extending the outreach here in St. Vincent while I'm here. And he was avid, he was on board. He right away devised a discount code. It was called Hope SVG. And what that allowed is that the buyer would receive 10% off of their purchase and also one stethoscope would be given to the Milton Cato Memorial Hospital. So based on that, we've gathered a total donation of 21 um, cardiology stethoscopes. The stethoscopes, there are two kinds. So this was the original one, the Mandela one. And right before the outreach initiative, they released the McCune stethoscope. So that was named off of a doctor by the name of Dr. James McCune Smith. He was the first African American physician and he used his intellectual ability and his physician platform to seek intellectual freedom. So based on that, he also graduated at the top of his class from the University of Glasgow in Scotland. And so it just goes to show that the products have a lot of heritage, a lot of history, a lot of background and thought put into it. Um, and yes, I'm honored, I'm privileged and happy to be here to hand over these donations and I'm thankful to Stethahope for their support in making this possible. Zafel, what has inspired you to want to do such great things for St. Vincent? I mean, last year, the end of last year, before you went back home for your break, you donated, uh, you facilitated the process of getting us a lot of medical equipment and supplies from a company, and you have done it again. What has inspired that? Well, coming here to St. Vincent, I've honestly been greeted and for the past two years experienced a set of the kindest, most welcoming individuals. Um, I've had the opportunity of being here in the hospital and through that I've also noticed that the doctors are very well equipped, the nurses, the staff, everything. Um, they're very intelligent, they're well equipped, but of course donations can also go a long way. It can also help to facilitate um, the care here. I believe that as a medical student or a physician in training, it's not only in our power or our ability to diagnose, but also to treat ailments. And in the same regard, when we see a need, we shouldn't just look at the need, but we should help to meet that need. So for me, that's what inspired all of this. We are really appreciative of this and thank you so much for, for doing that and seeing it as important to you um, to take such an initiative to assist the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines and by extension the Milton Cato Memorial Hospital. We'll now allow Mr. Williams, who is the Deputy Hospital Administrator, to just respond to this gift of love and this gift of hope. Thank you. Um, I just want to say this morning um, how grateful we are on behalf of the Hospital Administrator, Grace Walters and the staff of the Milton Cato Memorial Hospital. Um, we would like to extend our gratitude to um, this beautiful young lady and um, the gentleman who would have um, inspired in getting all this done. Um, we know there was a long um, background on um, how this was developed and we really appreciate you know, what was done and considering St. Vincent and by and large Milton Cato Memorial, Memorial Hospital in this um, important gesture. Um, this is timely as we are in um, an era of limited resources 
I know, of course, um, healthcare servicing is a um, great demand, especially in the, um, in the, um, the, so to speak, third world countries. And we are so grateful. Um, this is just another donation um, from this young lady. Um, we hope that she would continue to donate more as she see the need at Milton Cato Memorial Hospital and we would be better equipped to serve our patients. We say thank you again. All right, thank you so much. You're Any welcome. final words? Um, no, that's it again. It's an honor. It's the second time, but it definitely won't be the last time. I'll continue to do my best in um, meeting the needs where I see fit and, when, and where I'm able to.